Welcome to the Observer Daily Headlines broadcast. Join us as we observe and report today's stories from Longboat, East County, Sarasota, and Siesta Key. Yourobserver.com. Local news that's local news. I'm Emily Walsh, reporting from the best spring break destination for families, according to livability.com. It's Monday, February 27th, and here are today's headlines. As AirTran flies out, another airline will land in SRQ this fall. Representatives from the Sarasota Bradenton International Airport announced today that United Airlines will start daily service to Chicago beginning November 4th. The airline will fly from Sarasota to Chicago O'Hare International Airport. The news comes less than two months after AirTran made its decision to cease SRQ services in August. Congressman Vern Buchanan issued a warning against rising debt this weekend at a Longboat Key Town Hall meeting. The congressman says projections show if current policy continues, that could lead the national debt reaching to 800 percent of the total U.S. economy in 70 years. He stated that if the U.S. doesn't deal with debt and deficit, the country will end up like Greece. Approximately 20 people attended the meeting. Money talks, and so will the Sarasota Commission tomorrow. The budget meeting at City Hall begins at 3 p.m. tomorrow. Commissioners will receive an overview of the current budget and the fiscal year 2012-2013 budget. Commissioners are anticipating a $5 million shortfall in next year's budget. Future discussions are anticipated this summer on unfunded pension liabilities and potential employee cuts. Weekend festivities started with a benefit concert as East County memorialized the lives of two teenagers. Lakewood Ranch students Joshua Rogers and Brett Wagner died from injuries sustained from a car crash on Christmas Day. Residents flocked to Hunsader's Rockin' Ranch Friday to support the families of the two young men. Guests enjoyed a bonfire, raffles, food, and live music. See more photos on yourobserver.com. The Sunday morning gusts didn't stop fans from enjoying the Observer Cup. Area residents made sure to come early and tailgate despite a cloudy Sunday morning. The event was held at the Sarasota Polo Club. The Longwood Observer's community editor Mallory Nagy sang the national anthem to kick off the festivities. This week's In the Kitchen features a new twist on Eggs Benedict. Siesta Key resident Justin Neiman, a teacher at Sarasota School of Arts and Sciences, loves to cook, especially with seafood. He says any break from teaching or playing soccer usually means getting out on the water to cast a line. Neiman's Crab Cake and Eggs Benedict is inspired by one of his restaurant favorites. Get the recipe online at yourobserver.com. Ringling was in full bloom this weekend. The Ringling and Bloom Festival was a four-day event featuring fashions, flowers, and food. Saturday's Lily Pulitzer Luncheon encapsulated all three. The event included a silent auction and a fashion show. And on Sunday, the events continued with a floral arranging workshop. View photos from both events on yourobserver.com. That's all for today's headlines. For more community coverage and breaking news, check out yourobserver.com daily and pick up a copy of the Longboat and East County Observer's Wednesday and Sarasota Observer and Pelican Press Thursday.